what's going on everyone I am on my way to the gym hitting a back day and well back biceps and some rear shoulders so pretty much a pull day first pull day in six weeks guys I'm so so happy to be back in the gym I can't even describe it I finally feel like I'm doing the thing that's missing in my life because this past six weeks, seriously, it's been a living hell. I feel there's just been something missing in my life. I haven't been the same. I know my mood, and yeah, I'm glad to be back, guys. I'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys, but we'll see. You know, I'm real excited right now. I really want to just focus on the weights, and uh, I don't really have a cameraman, so I'll try my best. But man, I'm so happy, guys. So happy. By the way, look at the snow. It's snowing so much over here. Around like 8 to 10 inches. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym and get a great workout. See you So I just got back from my workout and I couldn't get much footage at all. What you guys saw was like a fraction of my workout. I did so many more exercises, but guys, it's just really hard to record myself. And yeah, I just don't have anyone to record me. And when I do try to record myself, that's if I can, it's, I have to be extremely sneaky with it because there's so many workers and you're obviously not allowed to record in that gym. And it's just real tough guys, but you know, I'll, I'll find a way around it and I'll be sure to get you guys some workout footage you know I just really wish I can get my whole workout set by set exercise by exercise and just show you guys my progression but I'm gonna do my best to get that but anyways so I didn't mention this in the beginning of the workout but this was actually my third workout of the week so what I did was uh, I did legs for the first day and then the second day I did a push workout some chest triceps and shoulders and then this is the third day actually so I did the pull the pull day. So I did back, biceps, and rear delt. And oh my god, guys. First of all, I am extremely sore, especially in my legs, as I did them two days ago. Oh my god. Don't do legs for six weeks and then do legs. It's just ridiculous. You can, I guarantee you're not going to be able to walk. I've seriously been aching all week and just everything, my whole upper body, just because, you know, I'm getting back into it. Obviously, these next two weeks are going to be like a living hell with my body. I'm going to be so sore and achy, but it's no big deal. I can, I'll can i deal with it. And, yeah, I also have to say, wow, I'm so much weaker. Like, I'd seriously say 70 to 75% weaker. I mean, you know, I'm not too worried about that, though, because... You know, that's just normal, guys. Muscle, when, when you're out from an injury or a surgery of some some sort, um, you're, you're going to get a lot weaker when you first start getting back into weightlifting. That's just how it is. It's common sense. And it's, it's not a big deal because, you know, muscle memory is going to kick in the first, you know, t 
two weeks, you know, even after the first few workouts, you're going to notice your strength just shoot up. So, you know, like I said, muscle memory is going to kick in. I'm not too worried about it. My strength's going to shoot back up within the next month. But, yeah, it's going to have to deal with the soreness. And I'm going to keep you guys updated. You know, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do a new series. It's going to be probably called Road to Recovery. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to call it. But that's it's going to be along the lines of that. And I'm going to be sure to just show you guys my progression with everything, you know. My upper body, lower body, everything about it. And just pretty much I want to show you guys how I recover with this. And how I become even better, even stronger, bigger, you know. So, anyways, done with the rant. Um, I got a post-workout meal. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it is. So, here it is. So, um, our university got, like, this new restaurant. It's, like, this new Asian kind of hibachi grill restaurant, which is great. I freaking love hibachi food and stuff. So, it's really good, guys. Let me go ahead and show you. Just a simple meal. What I got is brown rice. A lot of vegetables. I think it's like onions, broccoli, zucchini, and mushrooms. If you'll see right here. And then grilled chicken. I got some extra grilled chicken too. So the meat isn't 100% lean. I mean, you can tell it's like dark meat. You see what I mean? But no big deal. You know, you still need some fats. And yeah, just an overall well-balanced meal. And if you guys will notice, there's no sauce in this. So let me go ahead and tell you why I don't get any sauce, you know. It's not like, oh, I love being bland or I'm eating so healthy or anything. No. It's because, you know, a lot of these Chinese restaurants, they put, when, when you ask for sauce, they put a lot of sauce, guys. And being a type 1 diabetic, the sauce is just pure sugar. You know, it really, I, I've noticed it spikes my blood sugar up big time. And if you are a diabetic, I guarantee you it will spike up your blood sugar uh, big time. But, you know, if you do like sauce, like sometimes I do want to change up the flavor a bit and I do want the sauce, I'll just tell them like light, you know, keep it light. Because if you just tell them, oh yeah, give me like teriyaki sauce, they will drown that thing, guys. They'll put around like 30 to 40 grams of sugar worth of sauce easily in your food. And yeah, that just spikes up my blood sugar and it's not worth it, <laughs> you know. Just got to be smart, common sense, you know, little details. When you're, diabetic, when you're diabetic, you have to concentrate on little details like that. You know, think of every little thing. You know, don't go crazy overboard with it, but just something simple like that will just make your blood sugars that much better. So, anyways, gonna eat this up. You know, it feels good to be back. Gonna gonna try tracking calories back again, tracking macros uh, after a week or two and just get back into it 100%, guys. And give it my all, like I said, you know. Thank you for following this journey. And I just wanna show you guys my progress with everything. Uh, in, you know, with bodybuilding, with my diabetes, and just, you know, I, I appreciate you guys following my my journey so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like comment down below with any thoughts and subscribe to my channel as always stay strong